I have a student who once said that he realized that there was a subject that was not interesting to him. It was because he didn't understand it. When you understand things, you realize they're fascinating. So the reason why we have trouble with our minds, trouble keeping them here, is because we really don't understand what's going on. If you understood what the mind is doing, you'd find it a fascinating process. How it takes in sensory input and shapes it into an experience. All the different steps it goes through. And it thinks it's all automatic. Here it is, it's your own mind doing this, and that's so much of it you don't know what's going on. And you can figure out all the different ways in which it hides things from itself. You'd find it fascinating, and at the same time you'd be liberated from a lot of the misunderstandings you have. A lot of the suffering that goes into just running a body, maintaining a life. And we get fascinated by other things, things outside, what's going on in the world outside, what's going on with this group, that group. Yet the really fascinating things are the way the mind shapes its experience, the way it doesn't know what it's doing. So look inside. There's a lot to see. Sometimes people complain. They get their mind settled down. It's very quiet and nothing's happening. So things are still happening even in the quiet mind. The fact that it's maintaining its quiet and not leaving it shows that something's going on in terms of the level of fabrication, the way you breathe, the way you talk to yourself, just the perceptions you hold in mind. So look into those things. As you look into those, the Buddha said, you get closer and closer to seeing where your ignorance is. That's why that's the first connection in Dependent Core Rising. It's a big topic, Dependent Core Rising, but it's got a couple of main points that people tend to overlook. One is that more than half of the factors happen before sensory contact. And the other is that you're fabricating things, you have intentions, but they come out of ignorance. You would think you would know what you're intending, why you're intending things, but there's a lot that you don't. Why is that? And it's not just of academic interest, it's because we don't know these things that we suffer from them. So keep that in mind. If you find yourself getting bored with the practice, it's because you're not paying attention. And the reason you're not paying attention is because you don't understand that the mind is doing all these things all the time. And if it can learn how to do these things with knowledge, it becomes a path. So bring the light of knowledge into what you're doing right now. And keep pursuing this question, and you find that it has lots of unexpected surprises, lots of suspected surprises as well, surprises as well. But the really unexpected ones, those are the ones that take you off guard. But they're the rewards of having spent a lot of time convinced that this is the big issue in life. When the Buddha says, suffering comes from craving, he's pointing in here. He's telling you, look, 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 right here. And yet we look other places. So take him at his word. You solve this problem inside, and all the other problems you have outside are going to be really minor, and they won't weigh the mind down. <laughs>